What happened to Frank Nielakina? After having a pretty promising career over in Europe, once Frank got drafted into the NBA, he never really panned out to what he was expected to be. But quickly before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionated NBA content, and if you guys enjoy a video similar to this, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and that post notification bell. But anyways, let's get into it. Oh yeah, I work with the medics, I'm about to get you injected, I got a couple connections so I can get you prosthetic, okay. Frank Nilakina was drafted with the number 8 overall selection in the 2017 NBA draft. And going into that year's draft, the excitement about Frank was the fact that he was a phenomenal defender overseas, and he also had a phenomenal wingspan and decent athleticism that would most likely translate to the next level in the NBA. There certainly were some concerns about his offensive ability, especially at the next level, due to the fact that he was relatively raw offensively, but due to some of the natural gifts that he had in terms of his great wingspan as well as being decently athletic, some teams, especially the New York Knicks, expected that Frank could eventually figure out his offense. But going into Frank Nielakina's rookie season, although a lot of Knicks fans wanted the Knicks to take Dennis Smith, who actually went one selection later at the ninth overall selection to the Dallas Mavericks, in his rookie year, a lot of Knicks fans were very excited to see what Frank could do. Some Knicks fans were excited to see how Frank Nielakina would fit in with Chris Porzingis, who was an emerging star for the Knicks. Other Knicks fans were very excited to see the Knicks finally start to build through the draft, and start to rebuild the right way. But overall, a decent amount of Knicks fans were excited due to the fact that they thought the Knicks were going in the right direction and they were excited to see what Frank could do, although it wasn't necessarily their first choice. In Frank's rookie season, he averaged around 6 points per game on 36% shooting from the field, 2.3 rebounds, and 3.2 assists. Now when you just look at those numbers, it seems like Frank had an absolutely atrocious year, especially based upon the fact that he was drafted relatively highly in the draft at that 8th overall selection, and of course even watching Frank Nielakina in his rookie season, you couldn't necessarily say that he had a good rookie season because clearly he didn't, but at the same time, I think he was a little bit better in his rookie year than his numbers would suggest. Now, the main ability of Frank Nielakina's game, which was clearly his defense, did transfer over very well into the NBA in his rookie season. Frank did a fantastic job at guarding the opposing team's best players basically each and every night. It wasn't like as a rookie, Frank was guarding players who weren't necessarily that great offensively and his defense just looked better than it actually was. Frank very early on was guarding guys like James Harden, Chris Paul, Steph Curry. He was guarding the top of the top in terms of point guards. But besides his great individual defense, Frank also did a phenomenal job at playing the passing lanes and playing off-ball defense as well, which isn't necessarily something that you see all that often with great individual defenders. So defensively, I think the Knicks and all Knicks fans were very excited about what Frank was showing in his rookie season. But of course, the main issue and main concern going into the draft and certainly did show in his rookie season was Frank's offensive ability. Ability. Now, Frank certainly did show some things offensively. He showed the ability to hit that catch and shoot three point shot. He showed decent handles in his rookie season, but it was still pretty clear after his rookie season that offensively he was still pretty raw. And he still had a very long way to go in terms of his offensive abilities. Now, in Frank's second season, he was averaging 5.7 points per game on 34% shooting from the field, two rebounds per game, and also adding 2.8 assists to his game. Now, in terms of statistics, Frank regressed a little bit, but he was basically the same player in his second season that he was in his first season. Now he added certain things to his offensive game in terms of increasing his ball handling ability as well as adding some moves to his offensive game, but he basically was the same player in his second season that he was in his first season, which is certainly something you don't want to see. You don't want to see one of the players that you drafted relatively high in the draft basically stay at the same level in their second season that they were in their first season and basically not show much improvement whatsoever. In Frank's third season, which was the 2019 NBA season, he once again basically basically put up the same statistics. Frank put up 6.3 points per game on 40% shooting from the field, 2.1 rebounds, and 3 assists. They are slightly improved from his previous two seasons, but they were basically the same numbers once again, and now a trend was starting to form after three seasons. At that point, it was pretty clear that Frank wasn't necessarily improving that much. Maybe he was improving certain aspects of his offensive game, maybe adding a few moves here and there, but for the most part, those were kind of minimal things, and he wasn't necessarily improving the way that a lot of Knicks fans would have liked. 
leaked. And at that point, a lot of Knicks fans were starting to say that Frank Nilakina was a draft bust. Some Knicks fans are saying it much earlier, but at that point, after three seasons and basically no improvement, Frank was definitely headed in that draft bust direction if he wasn't already there. And basically, after that 2019 NBA season, Frank Nilakina's career with the New York Knicks was basically over. He did play the full season with the Knicks in the 2020 NBA season, but he was kind of just playing spot minutes. He was playing once in every four games or something like that, and he was only playing 10 minutes per game, when in the past, he was playing around 21-22 minutes per game. And then eventually, over this past offseason, Frank Nilakina ended up signing with the Dallas Mavericks. And in Dallas, Frank isn't necessarily playing all that many minutes either. He's only playing around 12 minutes per game, and the statistics that he's putting up are basically the same as his whole entire career with the New York Knicks. So I feel like at this point, we know the type of player that Frank Nilakina is. I think he's just a guy who's a fantastic defender, but offensively, he doesn't necessarily provide all that much, which isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. NBA teams always need defense, and when you're able to provide the level of defense that Frank provides, on top of the fact that of course he still does have potential and is still a very young player, I think that's always going to be attractive for NBA teams, so even if he moves on from the Dallas Mavericks after this season, I think another team is going to give him an opportunity, because of course there's always the off chance that whatever team signs Frank down the road, that Frank could potentially figure things out for them and turn into a really good player. Because I personally do think there still is talent in there, it just hasn't necessarily panned out in the NBA for Frank, at least so far. But why was that? Why was Frank Nielakina not able to figure things out on the next level? Now, as I mentioned, I always did think Frank Nielakina had talent, and I still do think that Frank has talent at this point even. Frank has shown the ability to run the pick and roll slash pick and pop effectively at times. He's shown the ability to hit that catch and shoot three point shot a little more. He's shown the ability to hit that crossover, sidestep, and step back three point shot from time to time. Had the ability to put up floaters from time to time. Had the ability to drive all the way to the basket and finish with crafty laughs either with his left or right hand it's pretty clear that offensively frank certainly had an ability the issue with frank is he was just never all that consistent with it and he showed some flashes maybe for a few possessions maybe for a few games but it never really lasted long enough and i think the main issue with frank is he just never really gained enough confidence in order to perform these moves on a consistent basis and the reason why i say this is because when frank was playing overseas in the olympics a few seasons back he was playing at the best level of his career he was playing very very confidently, he was playing great basketball, showed the ability to create for himself, showed the ability to run the offense a little bit here and there, and the reason for why I think he was so confident there was because he was playing with the French national team, and he was just a lot more comfortable with those players, and certainly had a lot more confidence due to that. But I think with the Knicks, I think that he didn't necessarily have the same connection that he did to a lot of the players with the French national team, which of course makes sense, and I think due to that, he never really had total confidence. And I think a similar thing is happening to him in Dallas as well, he just doesn't necessarily have the confidence in order to perform a lot of these moves as I mentioned on a consistent basis and maybe that confidence will come as he continues to play at the NBA level and maybe as he works on his game during the offseason he'll continue to build that confidence and maybe eventually he could get to the point where he could really put everything together but honestly at this point I don't think it looks very likely that he will but we'll see what happens going forward but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments do you guys think Frank Nilakina has a future in the NBA or do you not think so but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you didn't enjoy check one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time peace out guys